Hi and welcome to a new episode of my Studio One show page series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to switch presets on your external instruments or effect pedals. So this may be synthesizers or stage pianos, but you can also use the same technique for effect pedals or actually any device that receives program changes via MIDI. We're also going to take a look at how you can deal with keyboards that are your MIDI master keyboard, but at the same time the instrument where your sounds come from. So let's get right into it. In the last episode, I've explained what patches are and how to use them. If you haven't seen this video, please go check it out. But just as a short recap, if you use virtual instruments and you want to switch between different sounds, you can just select a preset in the browser and drag this preset into a patch slot of your show. Or if you don't use backing tracks and you don't need these slots, just drag it onto the player. What is a player? This kind of tracks are called player and we have backing track players, real instrument players such as guitar or microphone and of course virtual instrument players. So this is a virtual instrument player. But although it's called virtual instrument player, we can also use it with external instruments. And if you've already set up your external instrument as an external device, then it will show up in the browser when you go to external instruments. I want to use my Mo XF6 workstation keyboard and I haven't added it to this list yet, so let's do this together. I just right click here on external instruments and click add device. Now we need to select which kind of device we want to add. A keyboard would be a MIDI keyboard. That is something we use as an input device. A control surface is an input device as well, but not a keyboard, but something that has knobs or faders or buttons. So what we need here is a new instrument. And let's just give it a name. It's a Yamaha Moex F6. Now it's an instrument, so we want to send MIDI notes to it. So we need to select the correct MIDI device and that's this one. And we don't want to receive anything from the device so we can leave this field empty. In the channel settings, I only want to use channel one in this case. If your instrument is an MPE device, then you might want to check that option, but I don't need that here. So we are done for now and I can click OK. Now my MoXF appears here in the external instruments list and I can drag it onto the player. This automatically sets the MoXF as the output, as the instrument. At the same time it creates a new patch for this routing. And it works as you can see. I can now select the MoXF here in my slot. So when I'm in verse 1 of my song, I play the pad. And when I'm in the intro, I'm automatically switching to the MoXF6. So that's cool, but this keyboard has more than one sound, so we obviously want to directly select a certain preset on the keyboard when I switch the pad. And that's what these program and bank fields are for. And I recently got a question from a Studio One user who tried to use the program and bank options, but they weren't available. And that's because you need to enable this section first. That's important because if it was enabled by default, that would mean that it would always send a program change and switch to the first program because program is set to one. But maybe I just want to switch to that keyboard but play whatever sound is already selected on the keyboard without explicitly selecting a preset. In this case, I do want to switch, so I turn it on. And now I can enter a program number or of course a bank number. What we can do to find the presets we want is just using the mouse wheel and scroll through the different presets. And you see on the instrument that it switches the presets as I'm moving the mouse wheel, so I can go through all the presets and look for the one I want to use. And if you're on program number 128 and you go even higher, it automatically goes to the next bank and selects the first program there. So that's really convenient. If you're wondering why we have two fields for the bank number, there are actually two bank select commands in the MIDI standard. One command called MSB and one called LSB. The MoXF actually uses both to access different types of banks. 
but this is different for every instrument and you usually find information about that in the manual of your synthesizer or whatever device. Back to our patch, we now have the preset we are looking for and to make this preset a new patch, I just click the plus button and enter the name of the preset. And let's do this for another preset, maybe this one. Click the plus button and enter a new name. And now we can switch between these both presets, either in your lists or you can assign it to a slot in the setlist item if you want to switch to that preset while playback is running. One important thing is, if you use this same instrument as a MIDI keyboard as well, for example you use your synthesizer as a MIDI keyboard to play virtual instruments, but then you also want to switch to one of its internal sounds, then you need to make sure to go into the options of your instrument and set it to local off. Local off means that it only sends notes via MIDI to the computer, but does not play it with its own internal sounds. The reason why this is important is that Studio One receives the notes from the keyboard and sends them back to the instrument. So it would actually trigger the notes twice, which is of course not what we want. So make sure to set your keyboard to local off if you want to play its internal sounds through Studio One. By the way, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because that's the easiest way to support my video series and to make sure you don't miss new Studio One videos. Now, how can we switch patches on a guitar effect pedal? Or it could also be lighting or any other kind of hardware device that can receive program changes via MIDI. It basically works exactly the same as what I've just shown, so it's actually a little workaround, but it works. Since the show patch can only send to instruments, you need to add your effect device as an external instrument, although it's not actually an instrument. So let me demonstrate it with this effect pedal. I have it connected via MIDI and I can now add it as a new device. Select instrument, enter the name of the device, select the MIDI output device. And now we need to create a new player because we want to be able to control this separately from let's say our keyboard where we want to change patches as well. To create a new player for this device, I can just drag it between the other players so that it says assign to new player. And the rest works just the same way as for instruments. Find the right preset and save it as a new patch. As easy as that. And now I can switch back and forth and my effect pedal changes accordingly. And that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next episode for the Studio One show page. Thanks for watching.